Uh, my name's John Goodhue. And I'm Brian Gray. We're with APO Financial. And today we're going to talk about the myths of, of lower taxes and retirement. And boy, is that a myth. Absolutely. Boy, well, it, put it this way. It's a myth for people who actually saved money. Yes. Now, if people haven't saved money, they will be in a lower, probably no tax bracket in retirement. Believe it or not, there are lots of people that never will have to pay taxes ever again once they're retired. And, um, and it really depends on your sources of income is what really drives that piece. So with, with retirement income, generally most people will have Social Security. They may or may not have a pension. Right. What we're seeing is less and less people are having a pension. They can have rental income. They can have dividends and interest income, plus asset withdrawal, um, working through that and capital gains. Yeah, and the one that, that people kind of forget about is, or maybe not even know about, really, at when you hit 70 and a half, uh, all the IRAs, 401ks, all the tax deferred monies that you've never paid taxes on, uh, you're going to have to start paying taxes on those. Those are called required minimum distributions. You can thank the IRS for that little, that little gift. But you have to start pulling money out of all of those accounts because you've never paid taxes on it. It goes right into your adjusted gross income. And guess what? Your taxes go up. Yeah, and the, you know, the tax reform of 2018, where we got a lower lower tax brackets, that's good and helpful. It's something to consider maybe looking at Roth conversions because we could do it less expensive than we could just last year, right. um, 2017 there. But as a whole, what you want to look at is, is realizing and managing taxes through retirement because a lot of people will actually be in the equal same bracket or even slightly higher. Right. And those minimum distributions that John was talking about can push people to another bracket even above that. Right. And then you've got problems that come into uh, in retirement from an income perspective. Brian's already mentioned Social Security. Well, people who have done a good job savings, guess what? Social Security is probably going to be taxable. We have another uh, short video on that subject you might want to check out. Uh, but taxes continue to pile up. Uh, your Medicare can cost more if you have too much, in, at least as yeah. far as they're concerned, too much income, yep. which is another type of tax that you probably didn't think about, but it really is a type of tax if you're having to pay more for your Medicare that you wouldn't have had to before, right? Yeah. So when you look at it, there's, there's a lot of things and people always say, well, what, what is the solution? And what we see a lot of times is, is general advice out there on the internet and the magazines will say, well, buy municipal bonds because the interest is tax-free at the federal level. Yeah, and that's not really true either. Uh, they dump that back in, they being the government, the IRS, dump, dump that back into Social Security. They dump it back in the Medicare calculations. There's a few other places they, they add it back to the calculation. I always said, well, if, it's tr if that, that's truly tax-free, why do they ask for you to put it on line 8B of your 1040 form. Well, these are some of the reasons they ask you to include it in your taxes because they add it back in. Absolutely. And what we always say is there's, a, there's what we call the truths or half-truths or myths as it relates to different financial planning. But when you start looking at taxation and retirement, don't automatically assume that when you go into retirement, you're going to be in a lower tax bracket. And that's so. why we believe ta doing tax of what we call tax efficiency planning for your retirement years is really important because every dollar you have to pay that you pay to the government in taxes that you didn't have to pay is a dollar you don't have to spend for your lifestyle or for your legacy, for your children, grandchildren, charities that you might want to leave it to. And so, absolutely. And always remember that, that the, the IRS and, and our Congress can actually change the tax code and actually have us pay a little more tax. So always look at ta being tax efficient. And if this interests you, please reach out to us. We'll help walk you through that. Thanks so much for seeing us. Thank you.